Tonight, leaders with the NAACP are saying there's a divide between the black community and the Fort Myers police. We supported this chief being the chief. We don't now. Mm -hmm. We don't now. Him and, his, him and his top executive should resign. But for us, where the chips are falling, is blacks don't matter to the state attorney of FMPD. Thank you, reporter Ashley French joining us live on this part of the story. Ashley, you spoke with people in Dunbar today. What did they tell you? Well, this is a sensitive issue for a lot of people in the black community. And a handful of people who I spoke to today that didn't want to talk on camera said that the state attorney got it wrong. While a group of people who were open to speaking to me on record are calling for change after the state attorney's decision. As a matter of fact, some people believe that Mira Fox would make the opposite decision and charge the detective with a crime. They said that would have been justice for Christopher Jordan. To be fair, some did agree with the state attorney's decision. But the end result, people here are wondering how the city will address the issue of race in law enforcement. Anytime a, a shooting of this sort happens, um, it brings a lot of questions. And uh, I know there's still going to be some great concerns of how uh, things was handled in this situation. At the conclusion that this shooting being declared uh, justifiable in the absence of a weapon being present not only speak to what I believe is a local systemic issue, but a national systemic issue. But there is a person who is no longer here, but I know self-improvement, you know, and, and a community improvement is super important and it's, and it's really critical in these times. Now coming up at Wink News at 7 or in our 7 p.m. newscast, we'll have more on what people think needs to happen now and can the relationship between the African-American community and law enforcement be repaired. Reporting live in Dunbar, I'm Ashley French, Wink News, back to you.